We feel it's very important for us to be here because so much of what you hear back home comes through a filter that is not always yeah. factual. And, and so we're getting information here that we want to send home to all of you. So we started our trip in El Paso and just finished two days there, seeing what's going on on the ground at the border. And uh, it's a crisis situation, but it is a humanitarian situation, crisis situation there. Uh, we have a personnel issue with CBP officers, with ICE officers, and it doesn't help when every day you're getting different guidance from the White House as to what their policy is going to be at the border. What's really been striking is that um, they've been taking officers out of the El Paso sector to move them to other regions. And so what this has meant is long wait times for routine processing, for pedestrians crossing the border, for vehicles crossing the border, for commercial trucks and cargo crossing crossing the border. And so we've heard from local business owners uh, about the economic crisis that El Paso is facing um, because they are not able to pursue trade in the routine way. That has significant consequences for communities all across our country because this port is a critical juncture point between U.S. and Mexico in our economic relationship. That also leads to um, important issues with the migrants. Yeah. Um, they are just not being um, treated appropriately. They're not being treated humanely. We saw um, the individuals that were moved from the bridge, we saw those pictures over the last week, of hundreds of people being, as they called, stored in a parking lot, a fenced-in parking lot under a bridge for several days, being moved into tents and being required to sleep outside in the United States in federal custody. On the ground with their babies, crying babies. And for all intents and purposes, this administration has shut down the asylum laws. They are not abiding by the asylum laws that has made this country so great. They are turning people away at the border. Um, it's, it's a process called metering. They're telling people who come to the border who are claiming asylum that they have to go back and stay in Mexico. That's also the remain in Mexico policy that is putting much of the burden on the Mexican government. And there's no way that we know how many people are coming to the border or claiming asylum. And it's just a terrible, terrible situation. This is not what this country stands for. So we need to get off talking about the wall because it really is just a political talking point for this president. And we need to talk about the humanitarian crisis that's going on there that was, was created actually back a year and a half ago when this administration started the family separation policy. Yesterday we visited an adult detention facility by ICE. They were very clear to call it a detention facility and not a jail, but this looked awfully a lot like a jail to me. Uh, we are visiting a child detention center today. We have heard the reports, we've seen the images, um, but we're here to see for ourselves so we can make sure that folks are being treated with the decency and the humanity that the United States has pledged to treat every individual yes. in our custody.